Dell XPS 17 versus MacBook Pro 16. Something currently took place in the laptop area. For almost every MacBook, we have received updates including a new 16-inch Pro and several innovations and updates from all brands such as the super strong Dell XPS 17. Comparisons are presented in our video today between Dell XPS 179700 and Apple MacBook Pro 16. Apple's MacBook is long considered the notebook for teachers, artists and the technology sector, but it's not far behind Dell's XPS lineup. The XPS lineup is set to high-end MacBooks in Apple with the release of the XPS 17. It's a versatile laptop and features Intel's newest 10th generation H-series processors and NVIDIA's RTX 2060 GPU. Today, you'll see how XPS 17 is competing with the 16-inch MacBook Pro. Both laptops work really well, but today in our video, we will see which one is better according to its price and specifications. So stay with us till the video's end. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon for more updates. Let's get started. Price and Design Dell's XPS 17 begins at $1500, whereas Apple's MacBook Pro begins at $2399 for 16-inch. Which sounds like a massive change, but on Apple's to Apple's basis, these basic versions can't be matched. The XPS 17 begins with a resolution screen of 1920x1200, an SSD of 256GB, RAM of around 8GB, i5 10300E and graphics integrated. The RTX 2060 Core i9 108858, 64GB of RAM with 8TB storage could be installed from there up to a 4K screen. When it hits later this summer, we'll find out more about the exact XPS 17 configuration settings. In between, the 16-inch MacBook Pro continues its high-resolution display, discrete graphics, SSD 512GB and RAM 16GB. Apart from the price gap, these two devices are made up of premium materials, but they look and sound different. That's how the XPS and the all-aluminium finish and style on the MacBook Pro are all made from carbon fiber. The XPS 17 from Dell takes several features and indications from the rest of the XPS lineup. It is divided into two parts by an aluminium block and has diamond cut sidewalls. Carbon fibers are also used in the construction of the black palm rest in aerospace inspired. It weighs 4.65 pounds and is 0.77 inches tall. Just one color choice is available, classic black. XPS 17 boasts a full SD card reader and a 3.5mm headphone socket, 4 ports from Thunderbolt 3, the XPS 17. These machines are well wired, but there's no USB-A as in earlier XPS laptops. This is very well connected. However, Dell is kind to have a USB-C and an HDMI dongle on a USB-A 3.0 cable in the package. When we look at the two laptops, if you accept discrepancies in ports, there is only one. The MacBook provides four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports and a headphone jack, but the SD card slot is not available. You must dongle the MacBook. Display Dell's new XPS laptops mark with its classic ultra-thin bezels. The Infinity Edge panel is the signature element. The XPS 17 destroys MacBook Pro if you're really thinking about screen space. Both devices are slender, but the XPS 17 is heavier than Apple and has a bigger screen in a frame, which is only slightly wider. Dell says the XPS 17 panel has a display-to-body ratio of 93.7%. The aspect ratio still exists at 16 by 10, so that a more vertical space is provided for multiple tasks. A 4K Ultra HD plus 3840 by 2400 touch panel resolution or an FHD plus resolution panel 1920 by 1200 is included in screen options. Performance and battery life. Performance and output is the priority in a laptop and this region contains some convergence between the MacBook and the XPS 17. It is very powerful for both computers to pick a winner in this class since the XPS 17 has not yet been reviewed. The operating system preferences could be your pick since the XPS 17 is run on Windows 10 and the MacBook is powered via Apple's Mac OS. With the XPS 17, Dell has chosen the newest 8 series processors of Intel's 10th generation, either 4-core, 6-core 
or 8 core processors are available. This includes the i5 10300H, i7 10750H, and i7 10875H, and the i9 10885H core. RAM options launch with 8GB, reaching 64GB. SSD is set to 256GB for up to 2TB of configuration. In the meantime, Apple opts for an Intel i7 processor of 2.6GHz 6-core or an Intel Core i9 2.3GHz 8-core processor. With Turbo Boost up to 5GHz, you can drive specification and be configured up to 0.4GHz 8-core Intel Core i9. Storage begins at 512GB, but if required, can be expanded to up to 8TB. The RAM offerings begin at 16GB and extend to 64GB. As comparison to Dell, Apple is much more competitive with the storage options. The XPS 17 is actually unfamiliar to battery capacity. Apple's MacBook was of general use for only 5.5 hours. This is due to a 100 watt hour battery, 16% bigger. For either a battery of 97 watt hour or 56 watt hours, the Dell XPS 17 offers an option. Keyboard, touchpad, and audio. Any laptop has a significant part of its keyboard, touchpad, and audio quality. The XPS 17 and the MacBook Pro are not deceived in these regions. With its magic keyboard, Apple takes up its problem of the past, and Dell has overtaken its keyboard to make XPS a perfect place. Off note, the Apple Force Touch trackpad, just on top of this keyboard, is flat. This is different from XPS 17 because you can't press on a special region. You can press anywhere on the entire surface to get haptic feedback that gives a reactive and standardized feel. The XPS 17 speakers are outward, like with the MacBook of Apple, and are balanced by the 3D audio sensation of Waves and X. Two tweeters are in the foundation for a very immersive configuration with four speakers. MacBook also boasts amazing speakers from Apple. It has six-speaker high-definition system with woofers that overturn power. This has two extra speakers and big stereo sound support than XPS 17. It can also be purchased better over Apple due to the small bezel display. But the MacBook 16 Pro remain the only alternative you can purchase today before we can fully test the XPS 17. That's all for today's video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. Do give a like and we will be back with more videos. Stay tuned!